kind of I'm, I'm kind of lost right now. Well, we still have the Luna in and yeah. the anti mage, but I don't think Mouseport should be going for a, a lineup that would normally include black. Like, yeah, like um, th they have got this standard kind of play, like hard carry and black will win the game at the end. <laughs> oh, we is fine, but they don't have black. Yeah. So I think um, they should try to change their playstyle, but I don't know how they can do it with the lineup that they already have got right now. Maybe with a jungle hero, but they don't really have that strong Chen player, I believe. You're right. They they don't exactly have the most stellar Chen player. I think Paz can actually play. I'm not too sure, but um, I really think yeah. I think Luna is pretty much the most optimal here to go. Like you, yeah. Right now you see a lot of Ten damage, seconds, magic right? damage coming out of Empire. So you have to go for something like Nyx, who doesn't care about Nyx Five Assassin, but, but Nyx has a really hard time killing heroes like Puck sometimes. Or you have to go for something like Luna, who has BKB as a core item and can, who, and can still maintain the ability to dish out a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, but with that said, Empire can also take Luna. Although they'll be second in the fourth pick, I don't think they're going to be able to settle with it. I think Empire can go... Empire has a lot of options because Nyx Assassin and Keeper as support mm -hmm. set is really powerful. Right now, I'm just most concerned about what Scandal's going to play. There's still Clockwork in the pool. And with Bounty Hunter ban banned out, it seems like Clockwork is going to be a guaranteed option for one of these two teams. But I'm not sure how optimal it will be. It's certainly a really great hero. I'm just not sure about how they fit into the playstyles of the, the respective teams. Do you think there's a chance that Vigos will still play the Nyx and then Scandal on the puck on the offline? Um, highly unlikely. It's just, um, it's a possibility, and I'm glad you brought it into perspective, but I just, I don't see it happening mainly because I've never seen it happening. And I've played against Empire a couple times, and I've seen them a lot, in a lot of matches. Lately, with the Biggles pickup, I have to say, Biggles, when, when Puck happens, it's no longer Scandal. Okay, well, we'll find out, because, yeah, if Scandal plays the mean Puck also. He does. He, he is actually a really, really fantastic Puck, which is why um, I was kind of a little bit sad when Scandal was kind of kicked out of the off lane, I mean the mid lane, but I mean you gotta do what you gotta do for your team, so. Bear. Oh, Bear. And that's normally also a hero that pass plays, but maybe the Nino is gonna be picking this one up. We did Juggernaut ba getting banned out by Empire, by the way, so they they were kinda still banning that one out after the performance that Fada had in the mid lane. I mean, his mid lane went okay-ish. It did, it yep. Did. Uh, Clockwork right away picked up, so that's gonna be the hero. We still have a life seer in the pool, mm -hmm. as well as the Luna. Which hero am I missing? I'm missing some kind of carry player, in, in, and I don't mean the anti mage. Hmm. Because what kind of carry is Empire gonna pick up? Yeah, it's once again it's up in the air. I actually want to say Ten one thing remaining. that I've just noticed um, is that Bane has not been getting any mention Five in most of these remaining. games, and I'm wondering why because Bane is actually really, really powerful. It just hasn't been looked at yet, and it's quite shocking to me that Bane has not been touched at all. I mean, it's not very good against, uh, for example, it, it wouldn't be very good on Mouseport lineup against Empire. They have good Bane counters, but um, yeah, just Bane has not been getting a single recognition. Well, and yeah, once again, Lifestealer and Luna are both in the pool, so one of them will be picked up. We have seen a, a lot of Banes over the last couple of weeks, but, but like, yeah, you're right. He has been kind of fallen out of favor slightly. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. That hero is actually extremely top tier. He has a really, really amazing set of spells. But more importantly, his ability to move around the map early because of his movement speed, as well as his high amount of base damage and armor, makes him just a really top tier support hero without levels. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see. I, I mean, mouse boards, I don't really feel like they have still space for that one. Well, Ten they kind of have. Remaining. Uh, with uh, with the possibility of either running Darkseer or Five that right in the jungle or tri lane with the Lone Druid, but I don't really feel like the tri lane Lone Druid would work. They actually pick up the Lion. And that's a hero that we have seen uh, played yesterday, actually, but uh, by by Navi, for example. But Lion, I am not too sure because I mean you're not going to be able to to finger off death or anything for the puck. And you're not going to be able to do it for the Nyx. It's not going to be too effective against a clock, and basically Keeper of Light is going to be the one that takes the damage all the time. <laughs> Pretty much. That Keeper is going to get fingered every time, because yep. that finger has a thousand range. But yeah, it's as you said, seconds. the thing with Lion is like, it's kind of a do or die hero. Um, Five seconds remaining. Lion, it's like in Dota, you know, you have two options. You either have disables to shut down the enemy, 
or you have enough damage that they like it doesn't matter whether you have disables or not because you just kill them gyrocopter is the example of the latter lion is just the example of the former if you get really good disables off on the enemy team for example a nyx assassin is while crawling up to you in invis and you're prepared with a sentry the best counter to that is probably like a lion where you just hex him and then stun him follow him up with all your nukes use everything before he can cast anything but yeah lion is a tricky pick and to be fair empire has a really really strong lineup against a hero like lion that hero doesn't have very many escapes he takes a ton incredible amount of damage um he's not exactly the best aoe and they just went for the shadow fiend and it's gonna be a shadow fiend versus dark Seer. and that's and that's gonna be a lion that's gonna be so sad if he doesn't get his levels up fast enough he's gonna get two shot yeah he is he's he's gonna die a lot this game to nyx assassin <laughs> I, oh, I can see that assassin happening. And Shadow Fiend. Oh my god, I already feel sorry. For... And you know what the worst part is? He's going to be played by the Nino, so that's going to be their stand-in. So the thing is, you're... you're you yeah, know... the coordination things, and oh my gosh, it's yeah, going to be rough. And, and you're already feeling, you know, you're a bit out of place as the stand-in, yeah. and then you're going to die so much, you're going to feel so bad. Yeah, that's really important to know also. Oh, oh well, guys. Let's see how it's gonna go. So we do have Vegas indeed on his uh, Wisp with Goblack on the support Nyx, Silent on his Keeper of Light, of course Blow Your Brain on the Shadow Fiend, and that will leave Scandal on the Clockwork, as you uh, mentioned on the uh, offlane. We're gonna have Nino on the Lion, Pass for Mousepert on the Radiant side on his Dark Seer, Lone Druid, who is he being played? Lone Druid played by Koikva, with uh, <coughs> Alex playing the Rubik, and last but not least, it is the Bad Rider played by Fara, who's gonna go mid. Yeah, Fara mid. Um. So with Fada, I actually, uh, when you go mid with Bad Rider, I don't, I don't like getting clarities on a lot of heroes, and especially heroes that need to maintain name presence, like Bad Rider is one of them. Um, there's really no point. You're going to get a fast bottle up in like three creep heals anyway, plus the gold that you get over time. And all you have to do is kind of just bottle crow and control the runes, because you can, because you're Bad Rider. He does this all the time where he gets clarity. Uh, I think actually that's just a waste of gold that, that forces you to get one more extra CS. And Empire is actually going to start off on the safe lane with their tri lane. But um, I guess that's okay because the Dark Seer is just going to start jungling, so they can just pull and stack. Yeah, and I, d I don't think uh, yeah I don't think most pros they're not even going to try to go top, or maybe a pass would be, but I don't think that's a smart idea. He's going to realize who's there and then you know. To yeah, him. this Nyx assassin is just going to come and mana burn him twice, and it's going to be done. Yeah, basically. Basically, uh, invisibility room will be picked up by Alex, so that's going to be giving him a bit of maybe. Gank potential though, I don't think they can really do something with that just yet. I don't think they'll be able to get a hand on uh, on Scandal, I mean he's on the clockwork and he is going to be very safe. Already locked in two of the clips with the cogs, so we'll be able to get a lane bit more into uh, into his favor. Yeah, it's hard. Um, this Silibear, Kopa, uh, I, I forgot who started it, but people have realized with Silibear, yeah, you just put your bear up and you kind of just keep the creep wave there as well and all of a sudden this whole clockwork trick with cogs, it doesn't really do much. Huh. This clockwork is going to stay extremely low level. There's, it's a tri lane. Um, he actually doesn't have the threat of dying, so he oh, can't play a little Wait a second, mid lane, oh. draw black. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Vigos, he didn't stack yeah, his space shift, but his orb will still get him out of there, even with three stacks of sticky napalm. Yeah, I actually think what just happened is actually entirely okay for Vigos. He's getting a lot of magic stick charges. His EXP is not exactly getting shut down. Fada's using a lot of mana, and he will have his bottle up. So once again, um, this clarity is completely useless. but. More importantly, he's he's not exactly um yeah, the the lane is just staying right in the middle. With Bad Rider it's always tough. Sometimes if he pushes on you, he, if like they're gonna get really smart with their flame breaks and stuff and they can kill you. And if you get a push then you just can't walk up to him because he might kill you. And uh, keeping it in the middle is always the best. Yeah, so far so good I'd say. And of course also because of um because of Puss just, uh, over, sorry, Alex helping around in the mid for a second there, it basically give Fa gave Fat a bit less experience compared to uh, Vigos, I'd say. So it should be Vigos pulling up ahead here, even though it looks to be even at the moment. Actually, it looks very even. Five stacks of Sticky Napalm, Vigos. Oh, bottom, first blood. Ooh, first blood, bottom, it's gonna be Scandal, you're dead. Oh, it's close though, Vigos almost. With five stacks of. Oh, actually, Nino. You know, oh, 14 HP. Oh, yeah, and I he think, is uh, so slow in the race. Where is his team? Oh my god! Oh my god! The bear could have saved his life. <laughs> Thank you for the solve. Oh man! The bear was, could have saved his life. Yeah, his team should have actually been there to take the yeah. aggro for him there. That was once again. It's just the uh, support. Oh. Um, playing support as a ringer. It's tough. It is tough. Communication is key. I don't. Is he German? 
I it's believe like... he is. He's always, he's been around forever, but I don't exactly know. Okay, well they're gonna go again on Scandal. They're gonna have uh, Alex coming in from the side again. There's gonna be only two heroes this end though. I don't think they can do enough. Maybe force out some mana from Scandal, force out to use his cogs or something like that. Or at least force him away from experience range. Oh, mode. Yeah. Um, Scandal was actually doing really well. Even that death was, it wasn't terrible. And to be honest, when he, if he played that a little bit better, he was he would have actually got, gotten the first blood and he would have completely destroyed this Trilane. Because Lion and Rubik, they don't exactly have very much damage. They're good in the safe lane Trilane because they can turn fights with disables. But, um, like for example, you see this, yeah, you see this Clockwork is tanking like 20 damage every time the Rubik right clicks him with Stealth Shield. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's hard to zone out a Clockwork with, with those heroes. In the meantime, we see uh, Fala. He's just spamming out his mana completely with all the Siki Napalms, but he can't really find an opening for Kill Pump Puck. I have to say, though, like it's it probably one of the most annoying heroes to try and kill off in the mid lane because of his escape maneuvers. I mean, he's got two escapes, and then he also is up against a bat rider because, as you mentioned, he's constantly is going to have 10 stick charges up his ass. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very annoying. We're going to see Scandal by like, Harassed again. I don't think... No, they're not going to go in. Never mind. Something like that. But, um... Yeah, w while you factor in all the escapes, I gotta say though, um, this matchup is actually really broken for the Batrider. Puck is a hero that actually has one of the worst turn rates in the game, in a sense that um, if, if you play Puck, you'll notice like sometimes you won't get your orb off, or sometimes um, you try to blink and all of a sudden the blink doesn't go off. It's actually because Dota 2, for example, has a blink animation that requires you to turn. They recently helped, a li helped it a little bit to make it better, but generally speaking, yeah, Puck's turn rate already is not very stellar. And then when you factor in the fact that Batrider, it just reduces your turn rate by 70%. It actually becomes really difficult to CS because regardless of how well you can stay alive, like if you're looking at the CS board, for example, this Batrider is not winning by that much, but it, in the case that it was like a 10 to 20, you would be getting stomped, basically. It's it's hard to come back in this kind of a lane. You're getting zoned out of EXP and farm most of the time. But once again, Vigos is playing this quite well right now. Yeah, in the meantime, of course, I mean, blow your brain, we haven't really talked about him because basically nothing is happening there. But he is going to go for a fast BKB. He's got 35 last hits and he actually started pushing a bit. In yeah, the meantime, he... oh, Impale, Scandal, in trouble. He's got himself the cogs, still a Kinesis to the oh, other side man, of them, though. Oh man, they sent him right on the other hexed. side of the cogs. Yeah, that changed things. That oh, he's is going to be a kill. Boom. Quick fire nice picking play. it up. You know nothing. Um, as for the BKB first item, it might it might just be a casual ogre axe for a couple of while because I gotta tell you, um, if you've ever gotten a BKB really fast, like for example a BKB by like 12 minutes or something, it's actually not worth it. Just the item just does not do very much if you get it early, and all of a sudden you just realize that you kind of just burn charges when it's unnecessary. You might you might be better off yeah, with so just strength. Someone items. pointed out to me a, a couple of while ago as well as a co-caster. I think it was fogged actually, but in that game. Where I don't know who got a fast BKB, but he actually never used it. It was kind of funny. Oh, let's see, Flame yeah. gonna go through. Pass taking a lot of damage. So has to get away from the creeps. Surges himself out. We have a lasso up on yeah, Blue Rain and Pill going through. The Blue Rain taking kill. a lot of damage from the flames and will actually go down. Fada He's gonna kill himself up a well. kill. It's just it's just what a bad rider does. He yeah. pre tangled and he also has 900 HP, and uh, when you kill one of those heroes, both of them are gonna... He's actually gonna get a triple kill. He is gonna get another kill. Well, this is a double kill. Why is, can... why is Gold Black walking this way? I don't know. Flame Ray. But, um, and that's gonna, yeah. be, uh, that's gonna be a double kill, at least. But two kills? Yeah, but, uh, yeah he could've gone difference. for the third as well, I think. Even with Carapace and even with the Puck's presence. But yeah, two kills, once again. Bad Rider being Bad Rider. Yep, even with uh, the change of not being able to attack through uh, through the lasso, sticking knee bombs yep. are enough. In the meantime, Koikfa, I mean, we can of course compare Koikfa to the, to the, fa to the, well, well, I mean, Shadow Fiend. So yeah, he's farming really well, and he picked up a Midas. Oh, so. and that's gonna be making a change, because he's still quite b a bit behind, blow your brain, but with that Midas, that will definitely change, especially in terms of experience, especially Yeah, experience will be the big thing. He will, he yeah. will actually maintain levels and eventually get ahead also, because Lone Druid in the jungle farms fairly fast, and although SF does as well, once again, um, He's actually going for holy moly, never mind, because he's, he's got a huge stack waiting for him. And he's stacking it again. Yep, he's gonna be uh, getting tons and tons of gold. Either he finishes up his treads, or uh, well, that's probably gonna be it first. Yeah, so I think I think it was actually a casual Ogre Axe to start. Ogre, Ogre Club, pardon me. And once again, just early BKB, a lot of times it just doesn't have the game impact that it should. So, I don't think it's the most optimal item early. In the meantime, it's a uh, goblet that's trying to take some experience on the top lane. 
Because he is still level 4. And me, of course, I mean, we saw we saw Nick's mid in the previous game. You know, level 6 makes a big difference. And even as a support, it still makes a pretty huge difference. Especially yep, if you have a line on the opposing team. Uh, there's actually a smoke up now for Mouse, so they're going to go try to find someone in the dire jungle. But we can see the minimap. And they are going to be in quite a tough position if they continue going with this. Because all 5 heroes of Empire are roaming top, trying to go for the tier 1 tower. This actually looks really awkward. Like, you see two of the Radiant heroes in the Dire jungle, and then the, the Dire oh, heroes are going all on the Radiant side, Coral, diving all of this. Impale, oh, oh wow, gosh, Vendetta. Be, oh, why did he take so much damage all of a sudden? It wasn't a Vendetta. Was he just really that squishy? Telekinesis? Oh, uh, I think it was actually the Mana Burn. Ah, okay. Yeah, that, that spell against Dark Seer is kind of just unfair. Oh, Flame Break trying to help out. Look at Fada, looking for a, a lasso, perhaps. He's gonna find Scandal, oh, the lasso needed for that one. That's gonna be a nice Earth Spike. Killing up one. Oh, bad Ryan oh, is in trouble, but oh, here comes the fuck and that. the last. Oh my gosh, he just got himself killed. Yep. Why did you do that? Him Luminate might be able to kill a father though. I mean, it's a little, oh, it's a little bit level it won't 3. Be, it won't uh, be just on the edge. Yeah, it oh, yeah, oh my gosh, got it. Oh my god, oh, my god. he stays god. alive! Vegas, oh he boy. stays alive. Such clutch play there. I shall be. vacuum. We'll still get the cure, but that oh flare will god. get the Rubik. He fights, man. Oh. That is some really, really clutch play right there. And all that Illuminate just charging up there, taking all the time that it needed to reach the full level. Well, and Fada dying there, that's 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 quite a blow, actually. Yeah, I, I gotta say, you know, that that was just B-God, I guess. Yep. Well, with well, the help of a teammate, I mean, he couldn't have done it without the Keeper of the Light. Yeah. Nice face shift, nice Illuminate out, but still the Vacuum and the Iron Shell were too much. Mm -hmm. But this is yeah. really good. I mean, he's got three kills up his sleeve now. He's only got one death. And uh, while his creep kill isn't the highest, the fact that... Um, I guess the, the fact that Lone Druid is farming is looking kind of bad for Empire. But it's not going terrible. Except his farm is not exactly slowed down. He did die once, but the, the jungle stack really helped him. So I guess it would, I would say it's kind of going even now. And I'm really just curious about what Popa's item progression will be, because... I know the, the general trend lately is the base boots into Maelstrom or the armlet, which is, you know, they, they get the armlet because it gives the most um, efficiency with regards to statistics. Like, it gives the most damage and attack speed for the amount it costs. But, I don't know. I'm not sure if it has enough game impact. I still think Radiance is the best item on Lone Druid. Well, I, I always think that, like, if you pick up something like a Maelstrom and an armlet, you, you're going to be able to be so much more effective earlier on in the game. And then with yeah, the Radiance, you have to farm yeah, all the way. But it really depends on, on what stage of the game you're at, though. Like, yeah. what kind of game it is, what kind of opponents you're facing. Let's look if Fana can I get a lasso here. He does have his... If he would have gotten that kill upon Vigos, he would have had his Blink Dagger. Yeah, that would have been that would have been the difference. He should actually... Well, I can't. I can't, I guess he can't go into the jungle because the Lone Druid is taking it. But yeah, he should actually just commit to just finishing his Blink. It doesn't even matter if he sees an obvious kill or not. He should just go commit to finishing his Blink right now. Because he's so close, there's no need to risk anything. Because when you get a blink, he's going to get a guaranteed kill. Yep, and right now, he if he walks in there, I mean, there's a pretty big chance he'll get impaled. And, That's know, right. Hit by everything that Empire got. Oh, chomp, chomp. A little bit of a stalemate, I guess. The yeah. Training Lady will farm Actually, game. Alex is sitting in the mid lane with a vendetta because, you know, he stole that because he's pro like that. What a, what a nice oh, spell. and he killed off the illusion. He's gonna get impaled though. And oh, that's go black. What are you doing? Go black. Oh, go black. Careful there. He's got himself his own oh bandana. Do call for three. Who oh can? Alex man. goes down. The Nino oh, goes down. Fada flies himself out, but two for zero. Empire. Uh, I gotta say, that was. That must have been either a bait or something because I, I think it was just fast like reactions because I don't think that Empire was really counting on us was really going in for that one yeah it does wow. give the blink dagger to uh, to Fado though like he he hang around late long enough for him to actually get the gold but in the yep. meantime tier 1 tower top goes down with uh, Blurry Brain getting impaled he already got hexed oh, is there gonna be enough damage to take him down I think there is Iron Shell will do the job not, and the right click goes it. to the oh, line that's not for blow, for blow. he's got himself that's... level 6 without it he's got himself the finger of death yeah Giving away that kind of EXP as well as be, like you're the most important hero in this game and you have to fight alone through it. That's already an uphill matchup for a Shadow Fiend against especially the factory and Batrider and all the other disables. And since you're rushing PKB, you can't have the maximum damage efficiency for all the farm that you have. And now that you die for a tower like that and you have all this downtime where you can't farm while the lone Druid's farming with a minus, this is 
this is not looking good. I know the kill score says otherwise, but I think uh, I think Empire is in a really really tough spot right now. Well, they have to try to turn the ties around with uh, with something because basically they've been fighting four on five every time because Quake Fire has basically not done anything apart from those ganks. Apart oh, this could actually turn it around with Vegas trying to get. Go yeah, for if they Quake secure five. the kill here. I think Kova is, Kova is actually just going to end up too close to his teammates and the tier one tower that that they won't be able to secure this kill. And he did off for the he did off for the uh, armlet. So there, there it is. They're, they're, they're going to go for it though. They're going to go for Koifa. There goes the vendetta, the oh, impale, oh, the dream Vigo, uh, foil, the illuminate. Oh. Koifa is still. Oh, there he goes. Vigo's picking him up. Entangle though, up on the shadow fiends. Can they go for something? Looking for a last super final, but he gets vacuumed. Oh my god! Constantly. Oh, Look, oh that, that, there goes the puck. Yeah, oh. Vigo still goes down and impale up on two, and there finally goes the lasso. But there's no damage to go through right now. Scandal is still gonna get picked off, but there's still gonna be two corpses next to him. It is blow your brain that dies. Go block on the way out. Three for three for now. We're still gonna see the Nyx going down as well, though. Four stacks of sticky napalm. That's not gonna be any uh, escape for him. <laughs> Double kill for Fada. Doesn't find silent though. Yep. Four He's for not four done. for three. Oh, and and. They gave, I mean, Lone Druid went down. Okay, that's that's good for uh, for Empire. And of course, also the experience went to blow your brain, so it wasn't bad. But losing blow your brain for that and losing three other heroes for that, I am not sure if that was worth it. Yeah, and you know what? Blow actually just popped back. <laughs> so more gold. He's zero and three. He's got a good amount of CS still, but I mean, neither he's so far away from BKB now, and I don't know. This is this is just not looking good. Lone Druid didn't even lose all that much. He died, but he still has a Midas, so he has something to fall back on. Yeah, I don't think Blow has anything to fall back on. He, bu he bought the armlet already, so he has he has got basically everything that he wanted. Yeah. Armlet and a Midas, and he can just continue on going. In the meantime, also, it is... um. What do I want to say? I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Never mind me. Brain fart. That's okay. Happens. We shall know. We have time. a smoke off for Empire, and they're gonna look for something. Vigas picking up a blink dagger in the meantime. I don't think uh, that these people can find themselves a bear again, because bear is in the mid lane. I'm not sure if they ca if what they can do with the three of them. Like they they're basically the three lowest ones of Empire. And they do have a hook initiation, and they have a vendetta. <coughs> but they're gonna run into three, and I don't know if that's the right thing. Yeah, and he he just started channeling the blast, so they they know they're there. Yeah. So yeah, as the kings come out. Empire probably has the back right now. Yeah, well, at least that's something, I guess. They, they, they make sure that Lone Druid is, is like for a second without farm, but instantly Fada TPs with a DD rune, and they're gonna look for action. And a Blink Dagger, of course, as well. Um, Fada actually just had a solo kill on the Shadow Fiend. He, he instead decided to TP, and obviously he TP'd to Ping to go on the Empire positioning when they, when they thought they were still there. You scared me there. I really thought I just missed a kill. Ooh, nice! Lulz, Alex just steals the spike carapace, gets uh, Vigals with his own orb with that. <laughs> what a nice spell. Oh, this is an amazing spell to steal. Mm -hmm. Must be so Yeah, annoying. so, yeah, no no kills were missed, but Bada, he kind of just... Another one of those situations where, like, a free kill kind of just walked by and... Um, yeah, he, he didn't get it. It would have been a big deal because it was Blow Your Brain. But considering that Blow already dies so many times, <laughs> I guess it wouldn't matter too much. Oh, there's a double smoke with the lion and the DS. They're actually gonna get him. He's gonna go for the weak camp. Oh no, they're turning for the tower now. No, just be a little bit more patient, please. No. Ah, oh, they they missed the kill. They could have had blow there. Wow. Oh, Fada's gonna get one here though. Yep, yep. Lasso hits up on silent. Can someone else help him out? I don't think they can. They're gonna just give him up uh, for dead, and he is indeed oh, dead. Oh, hook oh, shot. Oh. Oh, oh it's a blow your brain goes down. Here comes God like that goes to try and pick up pass and pill will hit. Iron Shell doing some damage though. Pass will go down. Nice uh, cogs by Scandal saving his life as Fada has to back himself out of that one. Oh my music starting. Oh my music starting as well. Bad right and keeping him. Why does it start after epic things happen? <laughs> How convenient. Yeah, and here comes the puck. Yeah, they they can't even chase. I, I the feel like so, I feel like Vegas is gonna do something epic with this music on. He's not even gonna try. He does have a blink dagger again in two seconds. Nobody. Yeah, it's just oh. I don't know. Um, the, their damage output against the Silver is lacking. You need to have a harder carry to beat a Silver, or you need to be able to take his towers without it reacting. And um, and right now the Silver sitting with the highest HP as well as the highest damage output, it's just not looking good for Empire. 
that engagement that they had in the jungle, um, that could have probably been prevented also. Holy moly, this music's not stopping. And <laughs> I know, right? Har has no words on the map right now. This is really, like, this is going to cost them a lot because the fact that the Batrider and Lion are able to just walk into your jungle like that, I mean, Batrider is semi-excusable because he has no terrain padding, but Lion? Oh, there we go. There goes the people, guys. Yeah, it stopped kind of abruptly. abruptly. Well, I think I could have made that a lot more epic I missed my opportunity. Yeah, I, I think so too. Like, when the epic music like that starts, you have to talk like really epic. Yeah. I think I'm just going to go ham on the chat next time. Yeah, we should try it too. In the meantime, by the way, mechanism almost done upon pass. And we of course also have a mechanism being built upon Empire, but it takes a bit longer because he's kind of missing... Well, actually, it, t it doesn't take longer at all because he's only missing 200, 100 gold. Never mind me. And he actually has a complete... Okay, mechanism completed upon Empire, but not on pass yet. He needs 500 gold. Mm -hmm. It's okay though. Once again, I don't think Mouse Sports is looking to take any fights right now. Empire does have a better... Um, it's hard to say. With BKB, Shadowfiend getting off a really good ulti, yeah, they have a better team fight, you could say. But, I mean, when it comes down to like something like a Roche fight, for example, or an engagement at a tower, I think Mouse Sports has more room for mistakes. And that's just due to the sheer like AoEs that, that come out of them, slash like all the disables that they have. And yeah, this tower is just gonna go down to the bear. I don't think. I don't oh, think. Oh, uh... blinking lasso catches up on Vigos. Vigos goes down before it can do anything. And then tangle up on Scandal, oh, and he uh, is gonna drop as well. That's gonna be two kills going the way of Mouse Force. They might be able to kill off Goblin as well, but they don't see him because he popped his vendetta. Tower drops real fast. Illuminate from the side is not gonna stop anything for that one. And it looks like we're gonna see Blue Brain maybe trying to go in. Ven vendetta is still up for. Gob, like maybe he wants to do something. Flame break on the miss. Sticky nade pumps. Here comes an impale up on two. Four star forward to get Alex in safety. Oh though. my oh, gosh! Brilliant nice wrecking of souls yeah. from blow your brain. Gonna be able to pick up the bear. Picked up the Rubik. Looking for more. Gonna be able to try to go for the Nino as well as he just needs uh, one more right click to go down, but he doesn't get it. In the meantime, an entangle up on Goblack. Fada still in the mix of all of this, taking a lot of damage from blow your brain. Flame break will try to help out, but it's still gonna be Fada that goes down. Double kill going the way of blow your brain. And in the meantime, Koikfa getting his TP interrupted, and oh, you will go down what as are you well. Doing, man? And you just be summoned your bear too. Oh man, that is painful that because really they just bad. they just won. Like they got two free kills in a tower. Yeah. If they would have backed off. It's, oh my gosh. That, they this game would have been just over if they just backed right there. Holy yeah. Move. And Empire just took it back it's very convincingly. Throw. Gold Graph going back and forth. Experience graph going back and forth, and they kind of made it even with that. And they might even get a Roshan from this one. Yeah, uh, with, with Shadow Fiend, they can certainly do it. Especially because this bear, even if he comes back, he doesn't have another bear. Yeah. But just because Batrider is able to... Um, Batrider is so good at the Roshan kit, he might be able to um, just come and completely bug around with them. But yeah, I think this Roshan is actually just going to go down before Miles can react. Um, Batrider is going to TP to the Roshan uh, kit. They want to go for this. Blow has his BKB up now. As he well. really he wants to get someone. Coming. Here he goes. Oh my gosh. He's gonna go They're for gonna get it just for the push dice. This is a really big deal. Oh, he got forced up the hill. Nice. Wow. Vacuum. This impale upon two. Flame rate comes through. Another one up the oh hill. Roshan goes, goes down to the dire. Aegis gets oh, picked up by Silent. It is gonna be fun. It actually goes down to the Shadow Fiend raises from the high ground. Telekinesis up to the to look low ground from Silent. The oh, Silent denied the Aegis. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And it's still the but, Dire that got the Aegis, uh, got the Roshan as well, so they basically Empire got everything under control, but it's gonna be Silence who's still gonna be paying for that one. And uh, we still have uh, Empire Blue Brain sitting on top of the heel, but he's gonna be able to TP himself out. Yeah. Um, I actually think Blue should have prematurely popped his PKB there. And Biggles... Uh, well, they're gonna get the kill. They're gonna get a kill on Alex, and they're gonna try to go for pass too, but they don't have any way to shut him down. Yeah. And that so was a PKB that felt a bit wasted from Blue Brain. Yeah, something like that. Um, I think Vigos could have just coiled two people, and that would have been the, the difference. Like he was right on top of them. I'm not sure how he missed coil on both, but I guess it's, I guess it's okay. They came up with a kill, okay. but that Roche fight could have gone a lot better for Mouse though. So, so what do you make of a lion that's level 10 up against a shadow fiend that's level 15? That has got boots, that's got an iron branch. Oh, sorry, you got three iron branches, and now also got himself a blink dagger. Yeah, I think it's actually completely okay entirely because of that blink dagger. I have no idea how Nino got all these items, so I'm gonna assume that those assists and those kills had a lot to do with it. Well, I kind but of feel like this he misses is... a bit of survivability, like couldn't he basically go for Bracer better? No, I, I actually think, well the thing is, once again, Lion's a do or die hero. And um, if you go in and use all your spells before you die, you do. 
regardless. Because to be completely honest, he will die in a fight. Like, there's Puck, there's Keeper, there's Nyx Assassin, Clockwork, and he's not going to survive. If he, if he gets hit by like at least one disable, like if he accidentally right clicks on Nyx, or if he just gets uh, rocketed for vision and Puck follows up, he's going to die. So I think this Blink pickup is actually the best item. It's of, of course, once again, it's a high reward, high risk kind of thing, but Lion is a hero that needs to get a Blink egg, and okay. I think this is the wise choice. I think that's a fair explanation. It's kind of... Yeah. Yeah, because okay. at this point, like with all these stuns going on from both teams, it's kind of just like whoever gets the first initiate wins, right? And of course, Batrider being the king of that usually has a semi advantage. But now, if you put something like Lion into the fray and then they catch something like Puck, for example, it's going to be really tough for Empire to actually uh, fight a fight. Yeah, Phalas was looking for some opening, couldn't find it though. Blinks forward, now oh, he finds it. Up on Blow Your Brain. Kuru in the meantime is bringing in the Blow Your Brain as Yasha. Still has a nice Dark Seer wall. Here comes the Cogs. And those two people inside of them, they're gonna be going down, oh, Alex, man. as well as possible. Oh man, that, that coil and that cog, it's so much work there, holy moly. Yep. Oh, oh God, actually, God, like, gonna go for Fada, goes down as well. Oh, blow Three back. kills, and in the meantime, though, Lone Druid doing the work, he's gonna try to TP himself out. Oh, and scandal. Gonna be able to do that. Oh, 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 scandal, so close! Run, bear, run! Run! You're one of them, blinked away. One second. Oh, oh, there he goes. And that was actually three for for blow your brain. Yeah, is that, that was, worth that was losing worth losing those heroes for? Because I I don't really think it was, but it as at least I mean they were most were the one to initiate. They were the one to try to go for the kill. Yeah, um, it was actually it was worth it for Empire in the end, but the problem is they could have had the lone druid and they didn't. That's that's just the problem right here. If Scandal didn't cog and he just kept walking and just popped battery because it was just coming up, it would have been a really tough call, but he would have gone it off. He would have gotten the lone jury kill just by that one mini stun stopping his TP. But this 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 really does change things now. Because Copa, he has all these core items up up on his bear now, and his bear is hitting for a lot of damage. And if he drops an entangle on Blow, like Blow is not gonna survive. Oh. Even with the PKP. And that's uh, that kinda proved uh well it was proven, kinda. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime I have to point out though, like there's still tier one tower standing. And Empire is, uh, is behind on towers, they have lost three towers so far and only got one in return, but they... I have, like, for oh, 24 man. minutes oh. in, hey, Fada, welcome, and then Blow Your Brain uh, gonna be popping his BKB for that one. Bad. Doesn't even have 36 souls just yet, so can't really go for anything, as we see uh, Goblack also popping his Vendetta, looking for a target, so like needs up on Scandal Flame Rake. Gonna try to help out. Scandal totally out of position. Can't do anything anymore. And is gonna be oh the one gosh. to take an Earth Spike. That... And look, oh, the blade okay. goes through. And that's gonna be killing off Puck. Shadow Fiend picking off Alex on the sideline still with his Wrecking of Souls. Now gonna be running away from the bear. TP incoming with the buyback from Puck. This should be the exit of Mouse Force. And they know that too, so they are running. Dream Coil is still gonna hit up on Fada. He's gonna give his life. Gonna do what he can before he dies. But he will die. And I don't think Very they're gonna nice. be able to pick Very up nice more. comeback by Empire there. I, I, I thought for sure they were going to lose that fight with uh, Kofa, but they decided to just back Mouse. So, um, <clears throat> I'm not too sure exactly if it was the best decision or not. Um, I gotta say though, that, that lasso, it was very good, but it was miscoordinated. Mouse didn't react instantly. Well, they, they should have been killed, like, perfect lasso, but they, sh they didn't kill him off and that kind of lost them the fight. Yeah, if 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 Fada basically just forced half him away and brought him closer to the Rubik, the Rubik would have just lifted him and the Lion would have permanently disabled him before he got his BKB off. And that's what should have happened. The fact that that didn't happen actually just changed the fight. So. We actually are in the situation that you said um, earlier at the start of the game. I mean, Blue Brain is it's 26 minutes in and he's only got 6 seconds left on his BKB. Yeah, it's oh, uh, God it's like it, at this point, it's not even just the BKB timer. That's a huge deal, and of course, it it shuts down his um ability to stay inside the fight. But more importantly, I'm just not sure if they if they can deal with the bear. Not not so much the main laundry. The laundry bear right now, it's it's killable. You have shadow fiend, and the, you have a lot of magic damage. But this bear has a lot of items. He's gonna actually just straight up kill blow your brain before blow your brain can do anything. And if Mouse just plays their cards right, I feel like they're always going to get the better hand with the initiation because Bad Rider, Flaming, uh, Firefly, you can't contest that. And Lion also has a blink too, and his spells are instant. And, and I just made a point, like before the fight in the top lane happened, that this was a game where not a lot of towers were dropping, and constantly now like, the top lane is gone for Mouse Sports. The bottom lane is, is like, like, towers are dropping constantly right now. They're just making yeah. up for a lost time with taking down all the towers. And, and they're trading towers, and both teams seem to be okay with that, because apparently yeah. both teams just need to gold. 
And they're gonna exactly. to pick up this tower as well. There we go. Neither team wants to have an engagement right now, to be completely fair. And if any team wants to have it, they do it on their terms, which means that they are the ones that, they're the aggressors, they're the ones that initiate. So Miles looks like they're doing a fake back thing. They wait for the rocket vision to die down. It just died down. I'm not sure if they're going to smoke or not. They certainly should if they want to do this, because it would have been a nice opportunity. Um, <laughs> did the bear just use the Midas? He did. <clears throat> That's so sneaky. Yeah. He just walks up to creep camp, used the Midas. Oh man, Biggles, I don't know. Um, Dream Coil, it's on two. That's gonna be too late though, at least. Yeah, uh, the he, rest of the team is not gonna come in time. Far out. He's far, too far out away Here from Here comes Blow Your Brain um, still, wants to do something. Going to go for Alex first. We're gonna be Impale up on Koi Fa, who can't do anything right oh, now. It's nice already show. Alex that drops. Nice, nice, nice Cogs. Scandal oh, still alive. It's gonna be gonna Nino that will be wow. dropping. No, yes, he will be dropping for sure. And it is Mouse Sports that is on the way out. Still Koi Fa alive, it's not gonna be for